Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Unemployed to Legend with Wigan Athletic. My name is Craig and today the League One playoff final at, at Wembley against Portsmouth. Uh, obviously since the last time you're with me no games have obviously happened it's just literally been preparation but one big thing did happen and that was the inju another injury to Lee Evans if I can actually scroll up or down where is he? Where is Lee Evans? Ah, here he is. Yep, yeah, he has an injury, but I've making I've taken the decision to give him injections, which means he can be on the bench. And in fact, I want Tom Costello on there as well. I'm, again, I'm having to sort out my bench while on camera. Okay, so now that that's done, here is the eleven that will be going out for the final. Obviously, Archer and goal, a back four of James. Uh, Pearson, Mengi and Johnson with McEachran at the base in the midfield, Hughes and Palmer in midfield, Hughes has thankfully recovered from his injury, Lang on the left wing, Massey on the right wing and Joe Garner, his first start in a while despite the fact he's got hardly any match sharpness, yikes, will be starting up front as the sole striker. Play of a cautious mentality, that's, that's an interesting one, maybe we should just go to balanced I think just to start, in fact you know what. We will go balanced because Portsmouth can score goals. I just want to see how the game pans out before we decide what else to do. So, player final. Big game, lads. Handle it well. Take your chances. And we'll do well. Let's pump those fists. It's a great opportunity to show the pundits. Uh, Garner hesitant. The one thing I have to remember about Garner is he is still very unhappy about us not playing any youth players on the left side of midfield which we haven't done since November in game <sighs> but the game's just not very flexible when uh, trying to convince players oh we're actually doing a new formation now don't care boss you promised whatever All right Portsmouth unfortunately have the free kick to start and Jacobs oh my god again off the bar bit like what MK Dons did in their first game against us in the semi-finals and at the moment uh, Portsmouth are all over us what a last ditch tackle that was and Archer thankfully scoops up the ball good thing we actually went to a balanced mentality because we're gonna need it Garner brings the ball down well for Lang Lang bringing it forward can he find Garner in the middle instead he finds James and there is no, there is no one and the ball goes back out just take your time with it a little bit, just find out the right pass. Mengi. Massey. Can you find Johnson on the overlap? Yes he can. Palmer, who shoots and he scores! Brilliant goal by Matty Palmer. His third goal of the season and he might not score a more important one. And that was actually our first attack of the game. Not even just the first highlight for us, I think that was actually the first attack overall. Because our XG was zero before this. In fact, yeah, actually, the keeper I felt should have done better with that. He just completely let it go past his hands. Too much power on it. A bit reminiscent of Balogun in the last game. And a corner by Palmer and Pearson just heads over. It seems we're starting to get used to our set pieces a little bit more because Pearson, who I did set up as the uh, target for the long throws, for corners, we're starting to find him a little bit more now, which is absolutely brilliant exactly what I wanted to see it's just a question of him now putting the uh, balls in the back of the net because he actually does have the attributes for heading and for jumping reach and the height the man's six foot three he can reach them with Ekron into Lang who coolly slots home it doesn't matter he's, he's offside oh what a shame oh by a hair come on ref you can just allow that Lang was on really, wink wink. As you can see the XG was slightly neck and neck. In fact Pompey were slightly better than us overall in that first half. Uh, let's pump the fists. Let's keep them motivated. A second goal for us would be magnificent right now, it would just put a bit of daylight between us 
and Portsmouth. A little bit of nervousness and apprehension seeping into the squad a little bit. I mean, it's kind of natural. It is a playoff final after all. That's what you got to realise. Right, 75 minutes. I just went quick, by the way. Let's have a look at the... What do you call it? <laughs> what do you call it? Conditioning. Right, Lee Evans. I know I gave him injections. I'm not really going to bring him on at the moment. Johnson has been having a so-so game. I'm going to bring on Laginda. Sort of again in that attacking role. Right, so we're coming up 80 minutes now. Eighty-three minutes in, and thankfully we're the ones with the ball. Hopefully, spring a nice attack here, Mengi. Into Ghana. Oh, I think Ghana should have really finished that. Okay, four minutes left. I'm hoping Lang can just hold on for a little bit more. Uh, Joel Lynch. I'll leave those alone for the moment. Just looking at my midfield area, to be honest. Uh, Crankshaw. He can come on for Massey. We've just got a few minutes left. Time for a bit of gamesmanship here. Just slow the pace down. We've got a few minutes to go, lads. Can we see it over the line? Bring the tempo down a little bit. And we have... We've done it! <laughs> Wigan have righted the wrongs of 12 months previously. They are back in the championship. I suppose we didn't get to see any um, trophy being presented, but I suppose you don't in the playoffs. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever won the playoffs. I'm surprised it didn't come up with a we're in the championship. Are you sure we got promoted? Because I thought there'd be a message saying, well done, you're in the championship. I've got the achievement. You're up. We are in the championship. Absolutely wonderful. Oh my gosh. We had to do it the hard way after a heartbreak on the last day of the season. But we've done it. We've done it. Yes. So that club vision, fight bravely against relegation, win the playoffs. A 12 month turnaround. I mean, just look at the schedule. Beginning of the season, we was literally so inconsistent. We were losing more games than we were winning. From December, we just absolutely took it to this league. We strengthened in January, we took it to the league. We rocketed up that table. If it wasn't for heartbreak on the last day of the season, we would have gone up automatically. I am so, so proud of these lads. Well done to all of them. And now, the hard work, or rather the big job, of improving in the summer transfer window. Thank you so much for watching this first season. I hope you return for the transfer window and the second season that is coming up later this week but yes if you've enjoyed that hit the like button down below surely we just got promoted surely that deserves a like and a subscribe uh, on this video and to this channel respectively hit the, the uh, subscribe button for more football manager content and for my first season in the championship thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video